Hey everyone, today I'm back in the apartment and I'm making over the master bedroom. When you walk in, actually there's like a corridor there, I think that's what it's called, and then we have the actual bedroom space here. It's still quite a smallish uh, bedroom, but it has already a built-in wardrobe, which is amazing. And it's a north-facing room, um, so it's not that bright, but actually it's not that bad. And most people say don't use darker tones in a small bedroom. I don't really agree with that. Obviously, if you use neutral colors, it can enlarge the space and make it uh, bigger. But I want to make it moody and cozy and that's what he wanted as well. So we looked at the plans of course, he told me what colors he would want to use in the space. He said he wanted um, he wanted to have terracotta uh, color on the walls. So I wanted to make sure that we are getting the right color because obviously terracotta can be like a too orangey or too reddish or brownish. So that's why I ordered some paint samples and you can see the uh, paint cards here. So when we first checked, we picked this one, uh, but then I told him, let's just check one more time because I'm not sure if that's the right color. It's a little bit too reddish and I don't want that and he doesn't want that. So we picked after this one, uh, which is a brown color, but it has some red hint to it. So that's why it's a little bit better option, I think. It's a darker tone, but I think it's gonna look great in here. So I'm gonna paint this um, color on all the walls, except for the one that's in front of me where the bed is going to be because I'm gonna use lime wash paint on that one. I always wanted to try it. So I'm gonna use the company called Bowerk or Bovex, sorry, I'm not pronouncing it correctly probably. It's an Australian brand, but I'm based in the UK and um, it's coming from Germany. And after we picked the color, we I checked like which um, lime wash would go well with it. Obviously, it's not gonna be the perfectly the same color um, because it's a different company, different uh, color, but I think this one is gonna be uh, good. And obviously, it's not gonna look completely like this because when you apply the lime wash, it's gonna be more subtle. And I think it's gonna just look amazing. I never use lime wash. It's gonna be my first time, but I'm really excited about it. I always wanted to try it. So let's get into it. Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I Expected love was found. You're the rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say. Okay, I finished painting, I applied two coats. First, actually, I was worried a little bit because it seemed really red and a little bit lighter. Um, it's still drying, so it still looks like a really red color, but I'm hoping that once it dried completely, it's gonna get darker and we're gonna see more brownish tones instead of red. And also when the curtains are gonna be up, that's gonna uh, make the room a little bit uh, darker. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be nice and I hope the owner is gonna like it as well because I don't wanna repaint it. <laughs> So the walls turned out to be beautiful. I'm really happy with the color and the owner loved it as well, which is the main thing. As you can see, I left this wall unpainted because I mentioned that I was gonna do lime wash on this wall. And I'm gonna use a, a company called Bowerk. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. So on their website, they suggested using a prep coat first, just because the paint is gonna stick better and it's gonna last longer. So I'm gonna apply one coat of the prep coat first 
I think it's gonna take like one hour to dry and then I can apply the lime wash. So the color is not gonna be completely the same obviously, but I picked a really similar one. I got two liters, two cans. On their website you can calculate how much paint you need um, and it said that I should use a little bit more than one liter so I just got two liters just in case and I'm gonna use their brush, uh, this really big brush, um, you need it to apply uh, lime wash paint. I'm sure you guys have seen this in other videos um, with like different companies. And I also got a smaller brush just so in the corners or by the trim I can apply the paint uh, easily. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually need it, but I just got it just in case. So I'm going to apply the prep coat first and then the lime wash. According to their website, prep coat can be painted, rolled or sprayed. You need to start at the window and brush away from the light. To avoid visible lines, always paint wet on wet, keeping the finish consistent and even. Make sure to blend vertical strokes with horizontal strokes without loading any additional paint. After the prep coat dried, I started applying the paint. It's better to pour the paint into a big bowl so you can mix it better. It's important to ensure no pigment remains in the bucket and continue to stir the paint often throughout the painting process. I dipped the brush into the bowl and flicked off the excess paint. Brush can hold a lot of paint but should not be dripping. I followed the tutorial on their channel. First I started at the top of the wall, away from the edge. I started blending out the paint, maintaining a wet edge all the time to prevent color overlays. I will link their video in the description so you guys can check it out too for more details. You need to wait two hours before applying the second coat. While the walls were drying, I poured the paint back into the can. I didn't want to leave it out, but I didn't close it completely. I didn't think it would be an issue. When I started to apply the second coat, I noticed the paint got so much thicker and I was applying way too much paint on the walls, which made the finish look really bad. But since the paint was so thick, I couldn't apply less. Normally two coats should be enough, but I ended up applying a third coat the next day because I wasn't happy with the end result. And thankfully I had another can which was unopened. 
The third coat helped a lot, but since I messed up the second coat, I didn't get the perfect result, but I think it still looks nice and it was my first time doing it. So I emailed the company to find out why my paint got so thick and they said that if not correctly sealed, the paint can evaporate or some colors have a clay base which can absorb the lime base if not sealed. This is understandable but I told them there was no information about this on their website and even in the video the paint is left out so they should mention this in their videos. So if you guys decide to use this paint make sure to properly seal the paint between coats. I'm placing this really nice grayish soft rug on the floor. I know we have carpet but adding more layers and textures can make the room a lot nicer and cozier. We chose this really nice ottoman bed. I love the contrast between the wall and the bed and it gives this luxury vibe to the space. I'm adding a nice full length mirror next to the wardrobe. I'm in love with these bedside tables. The color looks so great with the wall color. I'm adding these beautiful Zara table lamps. I love the contrast and they go so well with the color of the bed. First I'm adding these linen curtains and then beige blackout curtains from IKEA. It's crazy how big the difference is. They made the room so much cozier. He really wanted a plant in the corner and even though there's not much space to move around now, he's okay with it. I chose a neutral bedding and then I added a decorative cushion and a throw blanket. right now you can get a sneak peek of what's coming because we have some stuff here already so I'm gonna now make an art piece for the master bedroom a huge one these modern huge art pieces can be really expensive but I showed you guys before that you can make your own art using just some leftover paint and some plaster you don't even need a plaster actually you can just use paint but I'm gonna use a filler or you can use plaster like I said um, this is a ready mixed filler and I'm just gonna use a petty knife I have two here I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use and just to create some texture on the canvas I have a huge canvas here as you can see uh, this is a 30 by 40 inches so we need a really big one for the master. So I'm gonna use the filler first and then I have some leftover paint here. Um, these are like samples that I got like previously and I'm just gonna use these to you know paint the canvas and I'm gonna able to create a really nice piece and it's gonna be affordable. I just had to buy the canvas and the filler. I already had the paint. This filler was so thick as you can see so I used another one that I had it was a lot easier to use that and spread it out, but I didn't have enough, so I went out to get more from the hardware store, which is close by, but they didn't have any fillers. I just don't understand how you cannot have any fillers at the hardware store. Anyway, I came back and I started to use that other filler because I didn't have another one. It was not easy to spread it out, but I managed. After the filler dried, I painted the entire canvas, first with a big brush and then I used a smaller one so I could paint those areas where the big brush couldn't get into. 
First I wanted to use this darker beige color but I felt like it was too dark as a base so I switched to this light cream color that I used in the hallway. Then I just started to play with different colors. There's no rules, I just started to add different shades and then I went back with the beige color to smooth it out. I was nervous because I didn't really like it at this point, but it actually turned out great in the end and the owner loved it too. I didn't want to put up anything above the bed because I wanted the lime wash to be the focal point but it seemed so blank, the wall was just so empty so I decided to add this vintage art piece which looks amazing. The colors of the picture go so well with the wall color and the color palette of the room. In the corridor I wanted to do a gallery wall so we got this collection of herbarium which is 100 years old. We got them framed, the gold frame looks amazing with the wall color, they just look beautiful. It took a while to make sure that they were completely level but it was worth it because they look perfect. So let's remember what the space looked like before. it looks like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video it's definitely one of my favorites it's insane how beautiful this room is i'm just being humble here <laughs> i love the wall color to be honest and i was really afraid when i applied it uh, i told you guys about this but i think it made the room so much cozier and warmer simple paint can do wonders i always say this even just adding a nice uh, paint color on the walls can make a huge difference but also of course we added a lot of decor items that made the room a lot nicer and cozier it's really moody in here i love it the owner loved it as well there was no big reveal because he usually comes here and check on the progress so he saw everything already he really loved it so i'm really happy too <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.